Okay, so we're going to talk about the power of pollen. So pollination is the process of pollen when it moves from a male plant to a female plant. So let's say we have these beautiful flowers right here, and this is the male plant and the female plant, okay? So the male plant has something called stamen, and the female plants have something called a pistil. All right, now plants don't have legs, so if they want it to reproduce, the male plant just can't get up and be like, hey, female plant, do you want to go on a date? So instead, what they need are some wingmans, um, also known as pollinators. They have bees, birds, butterflies, and other animals. So let's say, for example, the pollen was on a male flower. So let's get these fake pollen and have it on the stamen of the male flowers. And then you have a butterfly that's just flying through and it's just like, doo, 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 I'm trying to get some pollen. And then, oops, it goes all over the stamen and picks up some of the pollen, like so. And then it decides to fly over to the female flowers and comes over to the pistils and accidentally just rubs some of the pollen all over the pistils. Now, that is one way the pollinators, also known as the wingmen, help the flowers reproduce. Another way that the flowers reproduce, we also have wind. So for example, let's say the male flowers produce some more pollen, okay? And then it's just a nice windy day and all of a sudden the wind blows. And now the pistils on the female side has gathered some of that pollen from the wind that the male flowers had. And that's how the flowers pollinate.